Hi everyone and welcome to Flourish Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about outfit pairings and how you want to dress for your body type and also how, you know, creating a balance, a visual balance is important when choosing outfits. Now the other thing that I want to talk about is how around this time of year I'm really done with certain colors and I'm it's not that I don't like them anymore, it's just that I don't want to see them anymore. So I put some of those colors away that I wore out this whole this whole winter season, the whole fall season, and a lot of that were the burgundies and the the deep purples and just stuff like that and um, also reds. Those are things that I kind of take out and certain colors of blue and I put those away until the fall time and then it feels fresh and new to me again and so I take out a couple of pieces from my spring and summer wardrobe pieces that I can layer and you know just bring a little bit of life back into my wardrobe I would say. So this dress that I'm wearing right now, this is a down east dress and it's a dress that has, it's navy blue backing and um, it has bright flowers all over it. So this is something that I like to do when I am going to pair outfits. I like to take a pattern piece and pull different colors that they already have going on in that color scheme and kind of work that into a week's worth of outfits or a couple of weeks worth of outfits and that's just where I gain my inspiration. This is so that my wardrobe never feels stale and it doesn't feel like um, I'm wearing the same things over and over again together. It kind of makes me think outside of the box and put different colors together that I normally wouldn't or different pieces together that I normally wouldn't. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pieces that I have, and then I'm going to do a little fashion show and show you how I decided to pair them together. So let's get started. Having a go-to shoe is so simple to me, and I just love to have a really nice, elegant looking shoe that I don't have to have many of to create a look that I'm going for. So again, these are just a, a very like nude type pink color and it goes with just about everything that I have that I want to dress up and then I have these Steve Madden shoes which I just got from Ross these I I was looking to replace these ones right here which have been really worn out and there we go okay so these shoes have been really worn and I mean the inside is coming apart and they are my go-to wear everyday shoe. Now there are things about these that I really love that um, this one doesn't have like this has a higher side to it and but if I were to put these on you really couldn't tell if I wore one of those and one of those it still looks very similar and you really can't tell. What I love about these types of shoes are the seamlessness of it. So these ones I got from Target a few years ago and they had them for a couple of years so this is actually my second pair but um, they've come out with something very similar and it's this Mossimo brand but it does have a seam on it and it also is more of a like a leather type of look to it than patent leather but they do have a patent leather um, pointed toe shoe right now that has this part uh, scooped out of it and I tried those on and I just I don't know it just wasn't for me and they were a little bit more uncomfortable so I did not go with those and um, I may be going back to get the the nude type of shoe like this but these, I am not one for stripes. I really don't care for stripes, but I've noticed that if the stripes are very subtle and very tiny, then I really love wearing it. So 
I found these and I thought that these would be a great neutral shoe to wear, especially if I'm wearing jeans or if I'm wearing uh, some colored pants, then these would go really great with it. Here are the pieces that I'm going to be going with this week. This is a floral print. I got this dress from Down East and it's just really pretty. It's a pencil or a sheath dress and um, the length of it is great. But more importantly, what I wanted to talk about were the colors within it. So I'm going to be pulling this color right here. And the great thing about, you know, pulling from a print is you can choose whatever color you want to go with as your main color scheme. So I'm going to be pulling this dusty rose color and the white and the light pink. There's also like a light pink mixed in here. And so I'm going to be pulling those colors and there's even, you can even say that there's some tan, some beige in here. So I do have this beige cardigan, which I will be using on it with a couple of different things. And then this one, this is more of a dusty rose color, but a little bit, a little bit brighter. It's, it's not, um, too, too dusty of a rose. And then I have the light pink and white. Okay, so a couple of new additions to my closet. I got some new, two new pairs of pants. This pair is what I got from Rapsodel. This is a dusty rose, kind of like a parachute looking pant. And then these ones are more fitted. And um, these I got from Target. They're by the brand A New Day. And then also I wanted to share this really beautiful undershirt that I got from Target as well. I'm always looking for camis that have a nice lace detail on them. I think that this looks great under, um, under thinner shirts and it just has a really nice transition to it. So they have this in a couple of different colors. They even had it in a blush color, which I may go back and get, but I'm definitely, after trying it on now, I'm definitely going to get a couple of the white ones just because I wear them all the time with my thinner shirts and I feel that um, it just adds a really nice touch, especially if the shirt is a little bit see-through, then seeing the lace through it is very beautiful to me.
is to make sure that the back part right here does not fit too snug. If it looks like this, then it really isn't proportionate and it just kind of draws attention to the wrong area. And so this is why when you're choosing a dress, keep in mind the fabric that it's going to be and that these dresses are not skin tight because when a dress is like that, it's fine to have a form fitting dress, but once it gets right past the rear, you really want to have a nice smooth line. You don't want it hugging your leg. You don't want it hugging your rear that way. And that is just my tip for a sheath dress. Also, the other thing that I wanted to make mention about a sheath dress is that the perfect length to me is one that comes right below the knee. I do have a couple that may be right here, and while that's all well and good, when you cover the knee a little bit, it just gives a really nice, elegant look and a very finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below which outfit was your favorite. And until next time, I hope that you all take care and have a beautiful day. Bye.